Hey gang, Clay here, I'm in Mountain Music Exchange. We've got the cool new Epiphone Muse line in stock today. We're gonna talk about those, talk about what makes them different, what makes them cool, uh, just all the way around the unique style of the Muse series. So, without further ado, let's get started here. Check this out. First and foremost, visually, they're all in really exciting, cool colors. I have this one in Wonderlust Green on this Les Paul. Uh, Indian Laurel fretboard. This Wonderlust Green is very cool. Uh, the colors are all some sort of really deep metallic color. They look very modern in their approach, and I really like this color. Uh, I had mistakenly called some of these colors when we first got them in, um, like whatever their original Gibson counterpart would have been, so I called this one Inverness Green. Uh, we've got a a cool radio blue SG I'm gonna show you and I called that one like Pelham or something, but it's not. These are actually different and you can really, really tell the differences. As soon as you like take a look beyond first glance, they look fantastic. I love the dark backs on these. They're very cool. A uh, first modern feature you'll see right away, you've got the comfort carve here, which is cool. And of course you've got Grover tuners here. And uh, these Grover tuners, much like Epiphone's tuners, uh, whether it be the vintage style or the Grovers on the Les Paul Standard Series um, or any of the other Standard Series are 18 to 1 ratio. You can really, really dig in some fine tuning with 18 to 1 ratio tuners. Um, that's a very, I mean, that's a really cool thing about these guitars that I dig. Of course, I'm not going to shut up about the headstock because they look gorgeous. It's the Kalamazoo style headstock that they're using on the Inspired by Gibson line. Uh, number is now etched into the back, stamped, similar to a Gibson Les Paul. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, these are a little thinner, if you'll notice here, and I'm sure you probably already have. I've actually got a Les Paul here for reference. So let me take a 50 standard Les Paul and show you the differences back to back on how much thicker the standard Les Paul is. It is pretty substantial, and I may have not been back-to-back -back on that, and that's okay, too. Um, so, yeah, a lot thicker, the standard Les Paul. These are a much thinner body, sort of a more modern, sort of, I don't, I don't want to say aerodynamic approach, but maybe that is the right word. Um, it's a lot more comfortable if you're into, like, keeping your guitar close or maybe high up. It's a comfortable guitar for sure, especially with the comfort carve right here. It just kind of sits right up against you the right way. Uh, really cool stuff. Now, this one does feature, I've checked, so we're good, coil taps. Very cool stuff, very cool stuff. You've also got a tap here, I think it's for phase. Yeah, very cool. Uh, ABR1 style bridge on that as well with the Nashville style posts. Uh, interesting about these guitars is they have uh, an Okuome body and neck. Uh, feel free to correct me because I'm sure that is completely incorrect pronunciation of that word, but that is the wood that it uses uh, for, the, uh, for the body and neck. Now the top is still a very, very well carved. I'm going to hold that up and let you guys take a look at that. Look at that carve. Very cool carve on that maple top. Still maple. Very cool. Um, Alnico Custom Pro Humbuckers. They're hotter. You can tell the difference, by the way, with this maple cap in the sound between this and the SG. I plug both of them up. You can definitely tell a difference. These sound snappier. Uh, they sound hotter. They just have a cool, cool, smooth, gain sound to them. If you're running any gain at all, it sounds very smooth. It's a good sound. These are awesome guitars. Uh, the clear knobs is also another pretty solid visual indicator of something, something amiss is going on. Something is different here with this guitar. Um, so these Muse series guitars are really cool. They're actually some of the first we got in. Uh, they're just a really cool, they've got a cool vibe. They're modern. If, if, you know, if you're not super into like the vintage style Epiphones like the Les Paul that I just had a second ago. Um, you know, this is a good alternative. This is a good, uh, 
something to kind of push you forward into the future visually, aesthetically, um, you know, as far as the feel goes, uh, options. So it's just a cool guitar. They're thinking, they're thinking outside the box and that's always a really cool thing to try and move guitars forward in general. Now, let's talk about this absolutely gorgeous Radio Blue SG, not Pelham Blue, that's Radio Blue. Uh, something you'll notice that's immediately different is no Grover tuners, but to the best of my knowledge, they're still an 18 to one ratio. But they still look really cool. I actually, visually, aesthetically, I prefer the metal tulip anyway, but that's just a personal thing. The Grovers are always a cool look. They're never bad. Uh, Indian Laurel fretboard. Now, I know that the Les Paul had a different type of body and neck. Again, feel free to correct me um, on that. It's Okuome, Oku, Okuyum. Don't let me stop you. Let me know. Okay. And, uh, but this one, straight up mahogany body, mahogany neck. Old school SG vibe because it just works, it's cool. I really like that there's no pit guard here, but there is still a tenon cover, which I think is really cool. Um, I think there's a certain kind of, I don't know what to say about it visually, but it just looks right for some reason, even though it really shouldn't. Um, no poker chip, you'll notice that on the others. There's no poker chip on the toggle switch as well. Again, clear knobs that do in fact coil tap and phase tap. Just cool stuff. ABR1 style bridge, Nashville style posts. These are cool guitars. Um, they've just got a cool vibe to them. This doesn't have a comfort carve, but honestly the SG is so much thinner than the Les Paul in the first place, it doesn't really need it because you're already kind of hugged right up with the SG most of the time anyway, I, at least I am with mine. Um, so these are cool. Again, Alnico Custom Pro pickups yes that's correct and they sound really good in this um they sound like they've got a little bit less bite but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing they've just got a kind of a rounded sound um i like them i think they sound really good i think they look really good i really like that this has the 61 style neck joint which meets right directly at the body so you can just access every single fret with great ease i can literally wrap my whole hand around the bottom of the neck uh, or where the neck meets the body rather so these are really cool uh, i know i've said that a hundred times I, I want a cool counter on the next one um check these out online at mountainmusicexchange.com check us out on facebook at mountain music exchange youtube at mountain music exchange uh, and instagram at mountain music exchange uh, guys i really appreciate you all thank you all a ton uh, leave some comments below uh, we're going to work on getting demos of these out, so hopefully that'll be forthcoming very soon. You guys rock. I'm Clay from Mountain Music Exchange. Have a good one. We'll see you.